FC Barcelona got their Champions League campaign off to a flyer by beating Victoria Pilsen 5 goals to 1 with a Lewandowski hat trick. But before we get into the analysis, where we look at some of the tactics that Xavi has implemented, I want to ask you to please go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and also like my Facebook page that we I have created for us to have some interaction during games and about games as well. So let's get right into the analysis and make sure that you stay up until the end because there's an interesting tactic that I want to share with you guys. So let's start with possession. Victoria didn't press particularly high, which means that Barcelona was allowed to do the first phase of build-up very easily. In a 2-3-5 formation, we could actually see in the opposition how. Not only did Barca have the inverted fullbacks, but they also overlapped a lot more, which means that our midfielders could actually operate a little bit more deeper, whereas the front three operated really narrow, drawing the whole backline across. That meant that our fullbacks could actually get into these regions to look for crosses, especially Sergio Roberto. In midfield, we saw something like a diamond with Pedri at the top of it. This was done because Barca needed protection because the front five of Victoria was pressing really good. So when they would actually press the diamond, there would be space between the front five and the back line, but unfortunately Barca could not exploit that space. Now initially Victoria defended with a back 5 but it quickly went to a back 6 because of the success of Dembele. They wanted to actually have 2 players over to defend him. But that opened up spaces elsewhere and that mean that Barcelona had extra players to actually fill up the half spaces and these guys were very successful because they could actually interchange very easily and also have triangles on the wings. Now because Barca had so much space in these regions, that meant that the players in the half spaces could easily retake their position, even drawing players out of position. The other one would actually make third main runs in behind the defense. And because Dembele was actually drawing two players, that meant that the other one could easily run in behind the byline, receive the ball and look to cross to whoever would be in the box, most of the time being Sergio Roberto. So Victoria noticed that they were being opened up, so defended a little bit more deeper. However, Lewandowski then went over to the right hand side or wherever the ball may be in the hope that somebody else would actually exploit the space behind him. We actually see shades of this in Lewandowski's hat-trick goal. Jordi Alba out on the left gives the ball over to Ferran Torres who actually has made a run over to the left hand side. He draws both of the center backs and give a first time ball over to Lewandowski running in behind the space that has been vacated by the run that Ferran Torres has made. So Lewandowski then comes onto the ball, latches it home for the hat-trick goal. This was all the space that was created by that run that has been made over to the left hand side by Ferran Torres. Barca didn't have to do a great deal of defending, putting up some astonishing numbers, 76% possession, 20 shots on goal with 11 being on target, 673 passes and a 2.22 expected goals in this game. But let's see anyway. Of course you would expect Barcelona to press really really high in order to get the ball. But the main purpose of this press was to close down the middle based on counter attacks. And now this is the thing I wanted to tell you guys. Barcelona relied on Gagan pressing quite a lot, which means that when they get the ball, like usually, Barcelona in the past would actually, when they receive the ball or overturn it, they would go back to the goalkeeper. But this time around, we have seen new things since Sevilla. When Barca retrieve the ball, they actually attack immediately, trying to get the ball upfield as quick as possible, which is a really direct approach from Xavi. We see this in Lewandowski's first goal. Pilsen had just had a counter attack and the ball is turned over. Christensen passes to Sergio Roberto, but actually turns around and runs. Now, usually, Barca would pass the ball back and try to build up from the back again. 
but instead Sergio Roberto turns around and he runs onto the final third into Lewandowski who receives the ball in a very organized space. Pilsen is all over the place now because they only have four defenders. Lewandowski actually has enough time and enough space to pick out his spot and he actually cre creates space for himself and he feints such first and then eventually he puts it into the back of the net. Now previously you wouldn't expect this from a Barcelona side, you would expect build up again. However in this case Barcelona just simply went forward and we saw this against Sevilla as well where they used Dembele most of the time to get in behind and actually score the goals for Barcelona. Similar to like a Liverpool approach. So that will be all for my side. I hope you guys understood the video. I hope you understood all the tactics that we have discussed in this video. This weekend we will be having a La Liga match and on Monday I will be posting a preview game between Barcelona and Bayern Munich. Make sure that you don't miss that because that video is going to be insane. However, please do subscribe and don't forget to like the page on Facebook. The link will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.